Well, she's given a woman's voice to a controversial topic, and I got a chance to catch up with author Alicia Walker to talk about her new book. Take a look. I'm a sociologist who's very interested in human behavior and social norms, and women's infidelity definitely challenges those social norms. It's also an under-researched topic, and there are lots of gaps in the research, so that drew my attention. And then once I figured out that's what I wanted to do, I had to find a sample. Cheating is a very closeted behavior, so I can't just go stand on the street corner with a sign, honk if you cheat. Um, but luckily, I stumbled onto Ashley Madison, which is a website for married folks who are looking for like-minded sexual partners who are going to keep things discreet. And they were generous enough to email their membership and, uh, with an invitation, and folks responded, and the study was born. All right, well, uh, let's get into that a little bit. The, the women that you uh, spoke to and, and heard stories from, were there, were there similarities amongst them? And, and what was kind of, what was most surprising to you about them? There were a lot of similarities between them. The stories were very, very similar. I think the most shocking thing uh, for, for people because of our ideas about women's sexuality was the fact that women were not cheating to leave their marriages. They weren't cheating to get back at their husbands. They were literally cheating to stay in their marriages. Um, and they were cheating for sexual pleasure. They had been in marriages for sometimes years and decades that were virtual sexual deserts. They were either sexual, uh, sorry, sexless marriages or orgasmless marriages. And they had come to a place where they decided either I have to get this remedied, I have to outsource this, or I'm gonna have to break up my home, break my children's hearts, break my family's hearts. Um, and so their motivations, I think, for cheating is probably one of the most shocking bits of the book. Uh, you know, obviously, historically, it's always seemed like men are the ones who are uh, blamed more for it or seen more as the ones who cheat. But now we're seeing more and more that women uh, are the, are the are your, is your research showing that women are doing it just as much as men now or, or even more? There, there is some research out there. Current research shows us that women are cheating at least as much as men are. And if you include in your definition of infidelity kissing, women are often outpacing men in infidelity. All right, so the, the Ashley Madison website, uh, a lot of people uh, wonder how the heck something like that would even get started. But let's talk about that and why women choose to use Ashley Madison. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so if a woman gets involved in some organic uh, coupling, you know, her neighbor, her coworker, she's really running a big risk to her marriage because somebody's going to see them together and see that sexual chemistry and that could bring down her whole world. Um, or even let's say it ends and then here's this guy who's this constant reminder and a constant threat. So going online makes sense for women. Now why choose Ashley Madison over other websites? Um, Ashley Madison offers you a lot of protection if you're in this situation because the other people on the site are also married. Um, many also have children and they're interested in staying in those marriages and trying to keep this affair discreet. Um, on top of that benefit, which is huge for a woman who's trying to stay in her marriage, um, she can vet very purposely for sexual compatibility and not waste a lot of time and energy uh, getting invested in someone only to discover that they're not very compatible with her. All right, interesting stuff. Uh, for, those, for those who want to uh, see more about it, where can they get the book? Uh, you can find the book at Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble, or Lexington Books.